Hey, what up, y'all? What up, y'all? This your boy LC the One, baby. LC the One to be exact, that is, aka Illmatic124, and not the motherfucking game numbers, man. But my actual jersey number I wore when I was in high school, and my warm up jerseys on the back of my motherfucking chair at the crib. Hey, what's up to my LC Nation, my LC gang, and my LC crew? Hey, what's going on out there in the land where y'all living? You did, but hey, man, I'm on the caboose, man. I know it's kind of dark, man. I'm trying to get a good reflection from the, you know, the. Yeah, the sun. Okay, that's cool right there. But listen, man. I'm trying to get this in quickly, you dig, man, and everything in the game without the wild frames. But um, ESPN, the, the Jump show with uh, Scotty Pippen on it, uh, they was going over the ESPN's uh, NBA rank for next year. So they got a hundred, uh, some of the top, I guess, hundred uh, uh, NBA stars in this uh, poll, this little ranking. All right. And uh, they got young Zion Williams in the in the poll, you know. And as you know, he's a rookie coming in. He was selected number one overall by the New Orleans Pelicans. All right. So they ranking him 42 amongst all the top NBA players that's out there, you know, currently in the, in the NBA right now. So by him being a rookie, he coming in with a little prowess already through the gate because of his uh, status. So I think I think he should be a little bit lower than that because he's a really exceptional, a, a great basketball player, you know. And I thought uh, last year he should have just came into the draft. I wanted, I was a real advocate of him just trying to, you know, jump ship, uh, forfeit college and go straight to the pros. I said that on my LCD1 TV show like two or three times. And then, uh, what was the other cat I was covering? I forget my man, he uh, down there in Virginia. But uh, anyway, man, cause I'm tired to see him working these off days. But I wanted him to go straight to the pros, man, cause what I seen those last two years of high school that he played, he was ready for the pros, man. He was just, I mean, his IQ level was up there with LeBron James, man. So, I wanted my man to go straight to the pros, man, because uh, he ready. He was ready then. So, this year, what we're about to see is some really, I mean, astronomical basketball play. For real, for real. And LeBron James, man, you better watch out, man, because this young player, man, he ferocious, man. He was a point guard. Number one, he was a point guard in high school at 6'8", 300 pounds, man. The way he was moving up and down the court and, you know, jumping and the dude is incredible, man. So by them ranking him 42, I think that's an understatement, man. I think he needs to be at least in the top t uh, 20 or top 10 coming into the draft because if he would have played last year, it would have been a whole nother scenario. The Bulls probably would have had, you know, got him in the first round. He probably would have won a championship because that's how good this dude is, man. So they're gonna be shocked, man, when they when they when they really get a chance to see how this dude is gonna play against these pros in the NBA. So Scottie Pippen, uh, I missed his statement, his comment, but uh, I think he was saying that's about right, you know, for you know, where he's at right now. Is I think he said that was too high. I think he said that was too high for him. You know, but I disagree, man. Contrast in his state, man, I disagree. Because uh, Zion is, he way better than LeBron when he was in high school. I mean, they probably about the same, but Zion, he won too many championships in high school, man. You know, the dude was incredible, man. And you know, I wouldn't have known about him if it wasn't for open side, right out of Everston, Illinois. He put me up on him, man. I swear to God, when I first seen him, I was like, man, this dude is the new coming, man. He the second coming, man. And hear about the imprint, uh, his brand in the league, man, for real. This dude ain't no joke. And they about to see that, man. Dude probably gonna be dropping like 40 points a game. And he got Lonzo Ball as his point guard. So, man, we about to see some incredible basketball, man. The Western Conference, they, they're about to get shook up, man. This is a cat right here. For real, for real. So, this my little uh, two cents in on it, man. I'm saying Zion should at least be in the top 20, if not that, the top 10. 
coming through the gate, man, for the new year 2020. You did. But hey, man, I'm finna get up off this caboose, man. Hey, this show, Rover Reporter, you don't see the one, baby. You don't see the one to be exact. It is AKA Ill Manic One, Two Four, and not the mother sucking game numbers, man. But my actual jersey number I wore when I was in high school, and my warm up jersey is right behind me at the crib. Like I always say, man, keep it pepping and avoid slipping because they will get your motherfucking ass if you slip on that motherfucking banana pill. You did one problem, man. Like I always say, man, trust me, man. We're going to forward leave. Shout out to my LC Nation. My LC can't get my LC crew. I need y'all like this video, share this video, comment on this video, man. And most importantly of all, man, subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn that notification bell button on. Get more exclusive dope content from Pen Play Against Us. All about my baby. Like I always say, man, trust me, man. We're going to 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And P.S., man. In October, I'm gonna try to drop 10 videos a day, man. I'm finna go for it, man. I'm finna see how many. I'm finna see if I can get a band out of them, man. As, as close to it, you did. So make sure y'all turn y'all notifications on, man. So I may do a giveaway after October if they give me some real bread. I'm gonna give a giveaway. I'm gonna do a giveaway. So y'all stay tuned like a net show and keep it tuned like Nicholas Show. I'm gonna holler y'all later.